You know, I've, I've written about Cleveland Clinic, a world-class hospital that's surrounded by a community that felt like the clinic and its research was a world away. So yes, these are, are real issues persisting all across America. In the time that we have, I wanted to shift to some questions about the pandemic and specifically about the disparities we've seen in outcomes. African-Americans, Latinos, Native Americans were more affected by COVID-19 at higher rates than whites and Asians, both in terms of infections, but also deaths. I'm curious, Dr. Wilkins, why do you think that is? Well, I think the uh, historical evidence would um, say that we should have been expecting this. You know, there the data about pandemics, including, you know, influenza, have disproportionately impacted groups that have been uh, socioeconomically disadvantaged and marginalized. So um, again, we should have been expecting that people who are living in communities where the household density is higher, people who are working jobs uh, that are, you know, um, hourly wage earning, lower wage earning, need to be, you know, in the grocery store, in the meat packing plants, uh, people who have to travel on the bus, like all of these um, things that we know are increasing the likelihood that people are are exposed to the virus uh, are disproportionately seen in individuals who are African American or Black, Hispanic, Latino, um, American Indian. These are populations again that we already know this about those groups. So we should not have been surprised. I think the unfortunate piece is with this is that because these socioeconomic uh, factors, these social drivers, these you know um, downward effects of racism uh, and structural inequities um, are in the setting of the pandemic, people will jump to the conclusion that there must be some genetic or biological reason that we're seeing in these disparities. And so um, in, instead of really focusing on these social and environmental factors that are predisposing people, uh, there's this false narrative being being created that something is biologically different about people, and thus um, these disparities or inequities um, don't have it, actually any solutions. So, you know, the solutions are really in how do we address these social determinants of health, these long-term um, factors that really shape uh, individual health. 